It is Earth Day, and while many are doing what they can to save the planet, one local homeowner is getting some serious pushback. He wants to put solar panels on the front of his roof, but he says local leaders will not let him do that. News 6 is Nadine Giannis is live at City Hall with why the homeowner and the city cannot seem to come to an agreement on this one. Nadine? Well, Ginger, it's interesting because just today, uh, the city of Orlando mayor, Buddy Dyer, was touting its goals to be 100% self-sustainable here in the city of Orlando by 2040. And it's on the same day and on Earth Day that this homeowner says it's funny that the city is stopping him from putting these solar panels at the front of his home. The city explaining why today. I mean, we're seeing well, you see, this is where the sunlight is. On this Earth Day, Cy Pizam says he wants to do all he can to make our world cleaner. We all read about what's happening to the earth and all the pollution and some of us can do things, others can't. We have the wherewithal to do it and I wanted to do the right thing. And he wants to do so by installing solar panels to have his 1949 home in the historic district of Lake Cherokee completely renewable. So I thought, you know, this would be a nice step forward and set an example for my kids. However, he says the city won't let him, at least on the one part of his roof, he says gets the most sun. But now they're arguing that it's an eyesore, but the only place that the science shows that, that they should be placed is in the front of the house. And he finds it funny that on Earth Day and at a city council meeting where the mayor was touting the city's own goals to be 100% sustainable. Our 2040 sustainability go goals in a globally consistent way uh, to help us advance a cleaner, healthier, and more sustainable future for Orlando. That they denied his request to the panels on the front of his house by only allowing them on secondary panels and in the back. All recommendations from the city's historical preservation board. And I'm sorry, buddy, Dyer tried to do what you asked. I thought I was doing the right thing. I thought I was doing it, and I'm told now, no, it's not the right thing. They said we did approve solar panels anywhere on that property except on that front-facing roof. And so that last man you heard from was the man on the Historic Preservation Board, uh, Richard Forbes, who says that they offered Pazam options to put the panels in the back of his house. And Pazam says it's just not a fight that he's willing to fight for. In fact, he didn't even appeal for this. And he also says that his neighbors wouldn't mind. We're going to go more into this controversy in my story tonight at 6 o'clock. And so then we're live in the city of Orlando. I'm Nadine Giannis getting results. News 6. Nadine, thank you.